My name is Chanel Oberlin, and I am the queen of Kappa Kappa Tau. What is that skirt? Uh, it's Forenza? Yeah. Well, buckle up, because I've got one. Yeah, you ever heard of glaciers? There's a missing girl, blood on the floor, and she's tweeting, oh, hey, just want y'all to know I'm getting murdered. And y'all standing here like, ooh, I wonder what happened. The girl is dead. Delish. <laughs> what the hell is going on? You're trapped in a web of lies, whore. How about this? We take all of Chanel's diamonds and we crush them into a powder, and then we have a sugar party where everyone eats bowls of sugar. Except Chanel's bowl isn't filled with sugar. It's powdered diamonds that slice open her esophagus and kill her from the inside. What the hell is a sugar party? Okay, who just sits around eating bowls of sugar? And how do you even crush a diamond? It's like the hardest substance on earth. Shut up, number five. It's a great idea. I am a future network news anchor who's super classy and has almost no fat on her body. The trial is over. What? When did that happen? You were asleep. This conversation never took place. Yeah, but if it did, I wouldn't remember because you were talking to my evil split personality, Dirty Helen. I just don't understand. Like, one minute he's here and then the next minute he just explodes. I know. I also was there. I mean, it's just so messed up. Like, what are we supposed to do now? Yes, a totally innocent man who seemed super nice and probably did nothing wrong at all just got blown up in our living room. Bummer. Believe me when I say that if it was possible for me to feel anything, I would totally be crying right now. I don't feel comfortable with a man protecting me. It's representative of a patriarchal post-colonial culture that encourages violence against women. Always saying what everyone is thinking. I am choosing to ignore this verdict. What? You can't ignore the verdict? What verdict? See, this is me ignoring the verdict. She was carrying a shovel. There's nothing terrifying about that. Someone has, in fact, contemplated killing you, if not attempted it outright. Who? Your very housemate, Libby Putney. You know her as Chanel number five. Chanel number five's real name is Libby Putney? Those who pill together, kill together. No one in all of human history has ever said that. I'm trying to kill myself. What? How? Duh, with an ass. Number five, don't go! Actually, I'm totally fine with her leaving. I take my sandwich home, cut the light off, put a little luminol on there, do a little check just to be sure they didn't accidentally sneak a little horsey sauce on it. You are amazing. What did any of that mean? Two hours ago, you were like, let's poison the bitch. Well, I had a change of heart. Now, let's just say you screamed Denise Hemphill's name and I do not come a-running. That means I'm not on the premises. Okay, in that case, proceed to step two. Call 1-866-KLJ-0199, okay? I will be notified immediately and come a run. Wait, what? <laughs> sorry, what, what? Hold on, now, if... I'll say it again. I don't know why we're doing this. Picture the largest number you can imagine. One million dollars. That's seriously the largest number you can imagine? Three million dollars. Okay, fine. But, I mean, can we really trust a satanic talking board? It knew how many tampons. Talking boards cannot hold up in court. Even if it did, there's no jail that can hold her. Last time we sent her to jail, she immediately got bailed out. I mean, yeah, by me, but... And I'd be like, oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> this pineapple right here is just fine. I just wanted to see if you would do it, Winston. KJ! You're terrible at tennis. I'm gonna leave. I might start farting. If I cut some, you promise not to tell anyone? I... No, I won't tell anyone. I am tired of the excuses, number five. I am tired of your sad sack, I'm a total downer all the time shtick. I ask you to reunite one legendary rock and roll outfit so that guys will show up to my patch and you're all like, oh, some guy died. I'm over!